Okay. Uh, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make droppers uh, that can drop like cubes and gel. So, okay. Make an entity. Uh, make it a prop. Prop dynamic. Change the world model to props backstage item dropper. And just name it. Now go down to hold animation and put yes. Now just place that where you think it. Now you're going to need a go inside of it, make another entity. If you want to make a drop cube, just put a prop cube in here. But if you want want it to make gel, just do an info paint sprayer and just name it. Actually, I'm gonna do this. and start active. Um, paint type, select your paint type. I'm doing speed in this tutorial. Ambient sound, you can either do a drip or a medium or heavy flow. Blobs per second. Now be careful with this because if you do too many blobs per second, uh, it'll be really laggy. So I'm just going to do 50 blobs per second. Uh, so spread and blob streak percentage. It's good to have that at 90. And spread angle. The spread angle. I'll just put that at 30. Um. Yeah, that's it for the info paint sprayer. Uh, place that. Now you're going to need to make it pointing downwards, so... Oops, the wrong way. Okay, there, now it's pointing downwards. I'll center this. It's good enough. Oh, it's good enough. Now just make a button. Any button will work. Oops. I'm just going to do a regular button. Now, delay before reset. I'm just going to change it to 10 seconds so the paint will continue to drop for 10 seconds. Um, Okay, outputs. Uh, on pressed, target, 
dropper one and set animation. What this is going to do is going to make have the it's going to have the dropper open up so it can oops animation. It's going to have the dropper open up so it can let the, the gel out. Parameter override of item dropper open. Now add another output on pressed target your info paint sprayer and start and uh, and now add the button reset on button reset target dropper one and set the animation now you're just gonna have it close so just type in item dropper close now add on button reset target entities your info paint sprayer and stop so now when you press the button the dropper will open up these doors and the paint sprayer will start shooting down the gel and after 10 seconds when the button resets the doors will close and the gel will stop now go to your map your map properties make sure um, paint and map is yes this will allow the paint to stick to the materials and also uh, you want to make sure you have a light at least one light source in your map um, I have a light spot here and I have another one right here because uh, it won't work if you don't have any light sources in your map Okay. Let's go to my map. Okay. Here it is. Now, once you get in your map, um, right now, Matt Fulbright is on. So, uh, my light sources, my spotlights aren't affecting the lighting at all because full bright mode is it just puts everything in full bright so go into the console type in mat underscore full bright zero and I notice the lights are darker and I'm actually gonna have to fix the lighting in this level it's actually too dark okay so now press the button there's the stuff Yes. Okay. 